So I'm starting to see more how this is turning into this wheel. Yep. But can you let us know a little bit what, about what's going on here with the pressing? Uh, yeah, so once all the plies are cut in the cutting machine, they get laid up into the molds. Mm -hmm. And obviously it's not just a single ply, it's multiple plies for each part of the wheel. It's probably over 20. And so what we do is we remove all the sticker mm -hmm. on the carbon fiber because this is pre packed carbon fiber and then it gets pushed into the mold mm -hmm. with different tools to make sure there is no air in between the layers mm -hmm. to guarantee maximum structural structural integrity yeah. and maximum quality because if there is bubbles or if the fibers get distorted or anything else then it gets rejected during the visual inspection process. So it looks like quite I would say hard just hard work to actually get get all this in yep. which is surprising because I, I think a lot of sim racing wheels I feel like they come out of pre-made parts and kind of screwed together but this is like this is hand proper handmade yep this is um, not just another sim racing wheel yeah this actual motorsport grade so that's really interesting so we're going to have multiple layers going there i think correct. about 20 or so yeah over 20 yep and then that will be the finished layup correct and where does that go next next is the it goes into a bag and then into the autoclave all right let's check out the autoclave